I just got her. I just got her. And you are like, what did we got? Oh, look at this man. Oh. Mine stopped working a while ago. And you guys are like, what is this ugly thing you're trying to show us? This is not an ugly thing, my friends. This, my dear friends, is the classic Compact 1700. And I'm just trying to see if this little white stripe here is getting off of the top. But as you can see, it still looks very, very good. The inside, it also looks very dirty. So we're gonna clean her. And to clean her, we're just gonna get a little bit of warm water with just a little bit of something in it. Not something that will destroy the paint. And I give you the chance to take a closer look at this baby. Yeah? Look at the speakers. The sound that comes out of this computer is marvelous. <laughs> we did not turn it on yet. Let me get some water. I think my brother Jeremy also just arrived. The touchscreen was also still working. You see? You dry it immediately with this cloth. This is a special cloth. Ah, my friend is there. I'll be right back. Welcome back. As you see, I have a little sponge here. I used some warm water that already got cold because I had a visitor here. Then we're gonna use the, the back side. clean the caps because you don't want to know what people do when they are sitting behind the computer eh? they go in their nose they scratch their balls spit on it do all sorts of things take the cloth the special cloth I love this cloth I use it for everything I have several I, e I even have one that I clean my body with. This is very good if you come from the discotheque at night, you know. And you clean your face with it. This is this cloth is, is very good, it's special, it's very special. It's also very good for LCD screens. Eh? I'm taking the sponge. Don't make it too wet, eh? be careful. And only with this cloth you can get it like new. See that? Now this laptop can be touched with bare hands. See that, my friends? This is an old Pentium 2. The specs, <laughs> the specs are really low. But she will run after giving her a memory upgrade. She will run Windows XP, special version. Oh man, this thing looks like new. It's 
so now let it dry for five to ten minutes you know if you know a little water went inside so let that dry up okay I think she's dry enough now Let's turn the baby on. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, this is old school. Windows 98. Unbelievable. I think Windows 98 uh, will run on this uh, on this little thing here. <laughs> look at that let's look at the, the properties of this thing 96 megabyte RAM Pentium 2 ok let's put in some RAM so let's just turn it off like that and let's see if the battery is still working Turn it on. Wow, battery still working. Unbelievable. I still have three of these batteries somewhere. Okay, how to open this thing? I remember that you could do that right here. You used to do it with a pen. This classic baby. Okay. This is the memory up here. I think it's a 32 megabyte. Because this thing this thing hides 64. Eh? Oops. Let's see what this is. This is a 32 megabyte. I don't know what this was. Has a lot of memory. <laughs> Trying to find the right memory here. Yeah. Megabyte. Two hundred and fifty six, but this thing don't take two fifty six. The memory is so old that I cannot see how much megabyte it is. Give me an update. It's running like a train, yo. It's running like a train. I'm gonna use this thing strictly to play 
music just because of the sound because I really miss the old one I had the old one of this one already yo you don't want to know the sound and eh? the sound that comes out of this thing the 80 uh, what kind of sound card is it Audi 80 sound max something like that something with max unbelievable beautiful sound oops sorry mister so we're gonna delete this partition enter L and then we're gonna format it let's format it fast I don't want to make this video take too long I just want to see that uh, the installing starts and if we get no errors until the boot here but I don't think we will get errors uh, you, you hear this thing this is a Pentium 2 eh? it's a Pentium 2 I don't even know how much memory because I sticked in something but I'm not sure I also have to put back the plastic to protect the memory this one here I'll put it back later because I want the maximum amount of RAM in this thing and I think I can put maximum 192 but I'm not sure or was it 160 something I'm not sure but as you can see this is going really good and what we're actually installing <laughs> I hope you guys can read it a little bit I will zoom in for you guys is micro XP we called it micro XP because <laughs> many things are like removed and I hope that the guys didn't remove too much things ah, it's just for a test -da! and it's installed as you can see my sound driver is found and that is a real cool thing because this thing is gonna play music for me look at that baby okay you can see that uh, I must still fix the screen I must get the driver for the let me see something here 640 800 by 600 yep shouldn't try <laughs> shouldn't try higher huh? 2024 I don't know if that will work yes it's working you look at that we have our screen fixed desktop no no pictures this is really light 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 let's see at this let's look at the specs device manager and I think some hardware should be installed yes the card bus bridge video controller must be installed so what kind of video controller am I driving so this is like a standard driver the mouse also functions nice okay then we will have to fix the driver standard floppy disk controller 1650 PCI to card bus bridge PCI to card bus bridge should get some motherboard drivers for that and the video controller okay but she's running it up and now we're gonna pimp her alrighty welcome back now that we installed XP we have to decorate it a bit. And did you know that this thing had a USB port? It has a USB port. And that is really cool.
found new hardware. Not at this time. Alright, I have to put in the disk. This driver was not automatically installed. And there she goes. Getting the drivers of the CD, I hope. Yep. And she's nice and cool, eh? she's not uh, feeling hot at all, warm, that while she's running and up for at least two hours now. So, then look what I have for you guys here. I will have to clean up the mouse pad a bit. I think it wants me to restart the computer. Oh no, there she is. She's back. Okay, first we're gonna install uh, soon desktop. First we're gonna pimp up this baby a bit. gonna make her beautiful We're gonna, let's see the team could not because the team surface is not running again ah okay I have to put on the team surface okay apply and up here be able to although that is not really necessary what I want to do now I have to put on the team server okay no problem at least we have a nice background let's see what we got yay okay now we're gonna install my big friend called WinAmp, but the old version 2.1, just because that one uses less memory. Back, I don't want it full. I want the light install. Light, there we go. The mouse is uh, needs some cleaning. Stop bugging me. At that time Winem still had manners. Run Winamp. And look how fast Winem starts up. Faster than the new one on new machines. And this is an old, old, old Pentium 2. So first thing we're gonna do in Winem, we go to and I think some of you selectors should, should really see what I'm doing now because you might learn something now this is Winamp alright see the screen of Winamp ok we have Winamp like that now we go to options and we go to preferences up there we go to output And we go to the output and we type fading and up here you see a number. See this little number here? That means, you know, 333 milliseconds before skipping to the next song. If you want the songs to go really nice, just type a little 7 in front of that. Okay, and hit OK. Now you just created yourself a DJ machine. You can now load your playlist. 
we'll do one more thing um, options and then double size see that you can close this window because we have no browser you can close the equalizer no need to, to use that this is your playlist hope you can see it a bit I have to zoom out huh? okay I just made uh, the skin of the Winamp I just made the skin of the Winamp bigger and now we're gonna load some songs we just go to the USB disk and as you can see I really need a driver for the video and I will get it and here we have the mp3 files these are my own songs so don't worry no copyright complaints wow listen to the sound man windows xp yeah hey and now I will skip, oops, hold on. Now I will skip to the next song, listen. You hear the song? <laughs> this is me singing with a friend of mine. This is a Dutch song. Ooh, oh yeah. Ze is vaak zo dichtbij en dan toch heel ver bij mij vandaan. Ze is als een laatste wens voor een veroordeelde man. Ze is de ultieme verleiding. Te gevaarlijk en niet te weerstaan. Ze is vaak zo dichtbij. En dan toch heel ver bij mij vandaan. Ik kan niet begrijpen waarom ik jou niet vergeten kan. Je zing also at the volume bottom somewhere. I forgot where. Let me think. Was it here somewhere? Yeah. I think this is Max. Max sound. Yeah, this maximum volume. Do we have bass? Wow, 3D effect. Nice. Murder, murder, fighting, fighting, destroying, 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 mankind, mankind, in a ride, in a ride, in a ride. Make a change, make a change, make a change. Fighting. Fighting each other and killing and killing each other. Why do they fight to kill? Why do they fight to kill? Brother, know your strength. You cannot make it better. After you killed your brother, man. 
and that is something that we should check out eh? because I did not even know how much RAM I put in this thing so we take a little look let me zoom in for you guys hundred sixty megabyte of RAM okay you can see it's uh, x86 family 6 model 5 stepping but I can tell you it's uh, a 266 megahertz I think so you know this is not like a laptop that you should go and you know go on the internet and Facebook and things like that no the time for working of this laptop is done <laughs> with this thing you can play music you know and don't think you're gonna pop in videos yeah you can pop in a VCD that will play for you without a problem but don't think that you will pop in a mp4 file okay man that was it Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you got some inspiration uh, out of this video and if you can find them still, uh, it's really hard to find the compact uh, 1700 but if you can still find one, you know, and you don't have nothing to do on a free Sunday, you know, have some fun and play with the thing a bit. I'm looking at the fan here at the back. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> the fan is not even working. The fan is, I think the fan uh, will start working if something special goes on in the machine if it gets too hot eh? we'll have to check that out can't remember where I put the plastic okay let's close her up 160 megabyte of RAM is more than enough Okay, so, so, nice machine. So, see you next time, people. Till my next video. Compact seventeen hundred. <laughs>